Whoa, 54? War boy? War man, 27k, bro! You guys ask for this. Um, I couldn't tell if you guys were joking or not, but now it's gonna happen. Now, initially, this all started because I put out this here, where I rolled a quad roll on um, this cruel piece here. Let me see if I can blow it up. Uh, but basically, it rolled a quad crit damage and maxed out the attack here, and I maxed out the ascension for attack as well. And I joked I was going to give this to War, Blo uh, War Boy, War Man. Uh, and then, you know, you guys started saying, can't wait to see your video on the world's strongest War Boy. Your bo my body isn't ready for a War Boy showcase. Please spoil us. Um, royalty says War Boy. War boy to war man. I wonder who's gonna wear this destructive uh, weapon. Crit uh, let's see. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Pixie will be better than war boy. No speed bin. So yeah. Um, after seeing your guys' comments, I think some of you actually would like to see war boy, a war boy showcase. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a war boy showcase. But before we go ahead and do that, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys how I have them pulled up on the optimizer. I chose the absolute best damage that I could put on him. 100% crit, let me show you. So uh, obviously 100% crit rate and I have him programmed for damage mode. So it's automatically gonna choose the best damage for him just so long as he goes decently fast enough. So 200 is where we're at, right? I tried to do 220 in Savage and Cruel, but it's not happening. And part of the reason why it's not happening, never mind, I just lied to myself. I lied to you guys. I'm sorry, my viewers, I lied to you. Uh, well, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, why not try 240? Can I go even faster? Oh, wow. Pretty uh, fast there. But the defense is not exactly there. So initially, I tried to do like the, the standard nuke route that I have for a lot of my damage dealers. 100% crit rate. 220 speed is what I normally have for uh, my nukers as sort of a baseline, right? If you're trying to perform in higher levels of live arena, maybe even plat arena, but I'd say more so the higher echelons of live arena, you're going to want to definitely go higher, uh, like 260, 270 plus. 220 is what's been working with for me so far, and I've placed plat several times. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt, as you will. Let's see if we can get this in. And I have it set to take gear off of other champions even if they're locked or if they have uh, a lock status on them. And I'm doing it just for this video. I don't really expect that you guys are gonna use this as a guide for any, and no, nobody's gonna be building Warboy, let's be honest here. But yeah, so it looks like that's just, it is what it is, right? So we're gonna take this here, 30,000 HP, 200 and 2,000 and tw oh my fucking god 2300 defense 220 speed 100% crit rate 212 crit damage couldn't talk sorry so we're taking gear off a of cold heart we're taking gear off of rhodos tormin and we're taking gear off of taurus but wait, let me see hold on let me let me see real quick can i get lethal in what about merc gear Six piece Merc gear. Yeah. Nah, that wouldn't work. Um, let's move that. Let's try lethal. Can we get lethal? Oh, okay. So we have something in lethal. This actually is a little bit better. 209. And we're taking gear off of Incensa and Wukong and of course, um, Cold Heart. Oh, that was the other thing. So that quad roll that I hit with Cruel actually was on my alt account. So it's not on this account. That specific piece of gear is not on this account. But I figured since, you know, I have the extra resources on my main account, I would just do it on my main account. But to be honest with you, I had already started leveling up and maxing out Warboy here when I realized, oh, that specific piece is on my other account. So let's go with this. I can 
take a screenshot of this so I can put it back on on them in a bit. Because obviously I'm not going to keep poor boy like this. But we're going to go ahead and try him out. So let's put this on. We're going to quick equip. Dude, I freaking love that Hell Hades made this happen. Now, part of the reason why this is the way that it is, why Warboy, I almost said Hellboy, why Warboy is unable to go further beyond than what this is, is due to the fact that he can't put on a amulet or a banner. For those of you who don't know, common champions can't be ascended, right? So you can't ascend Warboy, champion cannot be ascended, Therefore, you can't put a banner on him, you can't put a crit damage amulet on him. Also explains why his damage is going to be a lot lower, why his speeds can't be higher as well. So this is where he's at. Let me go ahead and max this out. And let's try to go as far as we can. I like bringing this up to at least two, just because I have a lot of this, but not a lot of these. We're going to go ahead and throw some speed on him. That's only one. I hate these... Give me four. There you go. Resistance, not going to do much, but we'll put it on anyway. Let's get... Okay, so that's already there. Let's ascend this to two. We'll take the extra HP. Nothing wrong with it. Defense. Can we get more defense? Because defense equals damage. We got more defense. You know what? Screw it. We're bringing it all the way to six. Let's do it. We're bringing you all the way to six, too. Let's just do it. All right, crit damage on crit damage. HP, defense with defense. You know what? Screw it. Maxing that out. One of these days, I'll redo this to better roll for a better roll. Let's see. Speed with deep. Let's fucking go, bro. Max out that flat defense, bro. And we'll just, you know, we're not going to do that. But we're going to put on this. Six. We'll take the six. HP. Not the best. We'll take the five. Attack does nothing. What am I doing? Attack does nothing for that. Um, so yeah, these are the specific pieces of gear. Focusing on speed and crit rate, crit damage, getting some defense in there, crit damage with crit damage. This is obviously off of Wukong. This was off of Tormund, who is my uh, Savage Tormund. Some speed on the boots. And then if I could get speed on these, I'm going to reroll these later on with ores. Or sorry, with oils. To get more speed on him as well. These are the total stats. We have 28,000. A whopping 28,000 for HP. 2,700 defense. 224 speed. 100% crit rate. 209 defense. Or crit damage. Sorry. Let's go over his skills real quick. His A1 is going to attack an enemy once. With a 15% chance of provoking a debuff for one turn. So if you're going to want to use him in something like Hydra, where you can provoke the head that cleanses, you're going to want to build him with some accuracy. 135 might be okay in passing for Hydra on normal, but we do get a 12%. Oh, we get these bonuses here. So this 56 bonus to accuracy gives me 191 accuracy in Hydra. So provoke has a decent chance of doing the provoke or landing, I mean. I did book them up fully, just so you guys know. As always, do not blindly copy masteries, but go ahead and feel free to blindly copy these masteries. We're taking crit rate, we're taking crit damage, going down the offense tree, taking life drinker so that we can heal a little bit. We're taking whirlwind of death to increase speed every time he kills somebody, taking bring it down so that if he um, or when, it, when if he goes up against somebody with higher max HP, extra six percent. We're taking wrath of the slain. For every dead ally, I think he might be the dead ally, but we're stacking that up to 10%. If you're wondering if I spent gems to max them out, max these masteries out, yes, I did. Methodical increases the A1, which is the only move he has, up by 10% for every time he uses it. Kill streak will increase the damage in arena by 6%, 3% in PvE content, up to 12% for every champion he kills. And we're taking Helm Smasher to have a 50% chance of ignoring 25% of the target's defense for skills that ignore defense, additional 25%. So we want that Helm Smasher to proc, so we're doing more damage. Getting some extra resistance on him, extra value from the heals and shields. We're taking uh, improved parry so that in, in case he gets hit by a crit rate, we're going to receive 8% less damage on that. You could also take uh, Blast Proof if you want that. 
We're taking Resurgent to have a 50% chance to remove a random debuff whenever he loses 25% or more of his HP in a single hit. Prolonged fights, delayed death, damage mitigation, and we're taking Counterattack in Retribution as well. So, this is the build. We're going to go ahead and give him a perfect 6 all the way around. Perfect 5, I mean. All content. This is Warboy. This is Supreme Warboy, okay? This is Ultimate Warboy. This is... This is what the Fusion Champion should have been, all right? Instead of Scoffred or whatever his name is, it should have been Warboy. It should have been Ultimate Warboy. You're looking at the world strongest, the world's strongest war boy. I want you guys to know this right now. I dare you to show me somebody who's got a better war boy than mine. So we're gonna submit that, rating submitted. He's a perfect six. Now let's go ahead and take him into live, that we can't do live arena yet. That would have been cool to see, but we're gonna take him into this. And I've already put a team together. We're gonna take him in with Arbiter, speed boost, right? Then we're gonna take Sun Wukong, who has um, the buff strip ability and the block buffs. He's got 809 accuracy. We have Venus to place the decrease defense and weaken, and we got Warboy to smack with his A1. So let's see how he does against this, assuming that I am fast enough, because my Arbiter is not the fastest on this account. Okay, so here we got a boost attack. We increase attack, actually, he has nothing to do with attack. I should have brought somebody who does increased defense. That would have been a lot cooler. And then we're going to... Wait, how is he faster than Venus? A whopping 13k. Fuck it, let's leave. Let's go up against these guys. 14.8. Okay. Let's do this. Wow, Warboy is not dying. He's not dead yet. Check this out. And he's dead. Never mind. Hold up. Let's bring him back. Come on, Warboy. Help us out. Oh, don't do it to me. Get him. Kill Rathalos. He killed Rathalos. <laughs> he killed Rathalos. Venus is going at 210. Oh, I'm blind. Not paying attention. Okay. So instead of Venus, let's take somebody who brings increased defense. And we can find that actually in, there she is. And we're going to place this because she brings the increased defense so then he can hit even harder. Let's go up against Trunda here. Increase turn meter, got the hex and we've got this. Can we sheep Mithrala? Wow, we can sheep Mithrala. Let's hit Trunda. There we go, 16,000. And that was with increased defense up, but without the decreased defense. Let's go ahead and try to take care of Trenda. Uh-oh. Yeah, get petrified, bro. Get petrified. All right, let's focus down on Trenda. And can we stun you? Oh, we didn't get the stun off. Hit the A1. Boom! 20k from Warboy! <laughs> Come on, Warboy. It's up to you, bro. Get rid of Trunda! 15k! This fight's taking way too long. Oh, we got this in the bag, guys. We got this. This is uh, this is all us. We got this. Hit Brogni for 16, almost 17k. That's without increased defense. Let's get that increased defense on. Let's. Can we push turn meter back? No, I think we've already done that. Stun? We got the stun. Who's turn meter? Here it comes. War boy? War man, 27k, bro. <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. That's the strongest war boy in the world, bro. And then just for shits and giggles, we'll go up against stage one of the spider. See how much we do against the spider. So Podrick obviously brings in the uh, increased defense already. So there was actually no need for Mithrala. I don't know why I... Didn't think about that. Let's hit the A1. Whoa, 54? Very nice. Let's actually bring it up to 20. Let's be a little more serious here. And instead of you, I need to bring somebody who places... Oh, let's bring in Lydia. She's faster, right? All right, so we're on stage 20. All right, Warboy, let's see it. Hey, he's trying, okay? 
58K, dude. <laughs>